Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad with Premier Leather Crafters. And today I'm going to just jump right off into this video because a another crafter had inboxed me with a question about paint. So I know that there are probably a lot more crafters out there that's experiencing this same exact problem that she is, and it's the bleed. And now, based off of her message, I'm ex imagining that's what her problem is. And the bleed is calling, causing another problem, which is paint caking. Uh, and paint caking is where you've laid down so many coats. And she says she laid down three coats and it's still not white. And she doesn't like it. And it's not the paint's fault. Because she asked me what paint do I use? She says she uses Angelus, which is a great leather paint, and she uses the Tandy Cova colors, which is also a great paint. And she was using white. Now, the second problem is a direct and indirect relation to the first problem, which is the bleed. Now, here it is, the bleed. Um, it doesn't matter what color paint you use or what brand paint you use. You guys have seen videos where I told you I use the Apple Barrel or the Anita's. I also use Folklore and all of these type of paints are Walmart paints. The cheapest of the cheap. They're 47 cents for a bottle. But it's not the paint. It's the way that you lay your paint down. And uh, in my early years of crafting, I experienced that same problem, especially when you're using the dyes, the Phoebing dyes. All of those dyes are so strong that uh, if I'm doing a brown belt, that brown would bleed through the white. And uh, uh, it would turn those white letters uh, either uh, a tan or a khaki looking color. And in some cases, it turned it a yellow color. And it would completely, to me, it just made the piece look worthless, but the customer enjoyed it. So, hey, look, especially at that time, too, I was on the festival circuit for about nine years. And if you've ever done work on the festival circuit, you, your goal is to get them in, get them out, and get paid and be gone. But at the same time, though, uh, it was making my work look very bad. I thought it looked very bad because it wasn't what the customer or the client was asking for. So now, to, but to answer the question and to solve that problem, I called my uncle. My uncle told me either A, one or two things you can do, nephew. Either you can stop using white or stop using light paint or B, lay those down first. And the only way that that will work is to lay it down first is you would have to seal that color or whatever colors you're using in with the resistant and that would take three days so on the festival circuit that really wouldn't work at all because you got about 10 to 15 minutes to get this customer stuff out the way um but in my latter years when i came off of the festival circuit in like the uh around 2005 somewhere around up in there uh, this is when I really started honing the, the antique gels as well as focusing on resisting. So, to solve that problem for all of you crafters who might be having the exact same problem is this. It doesn't matter what color paint you use or what brand paint you use. You have to lay those light colors or the white down first. On directly onto your raw leather so as soon as you get your tooling work done and your carving work done lay your colors your light colors down first seal those colors in with the satin sheen finish the echo flow or eco flow depending on what side of your mouth you want to say it out of lay your satin sheen uh, down on top of those colors lock those colors in and then come back with uh, your antique gel. So if you're working on a piece where your base color is going to be black or you're working on a piece where your base color is going to be brown, Tandy Echo Flow Antique Gels has an array of colors, uh, antique gels to choose from. So you still can get the desired effect and look as well from those gels than you can from the dyes and your work would, I'm telling you, it will come out just like you see it in your head. 
So, but you have to lay those light colors or those whites down first. I hope this helped you guys. This is not really a long detailed video. Uh, but you can always hit me up by clicking the submission button right up under this video on YouTube or and drop your questions there. You can hit me up at Premier Leather Crafters uh, at yahoo.com. I'm also on all of the social media sites Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, Flickr, Tumblr, eh, Facebook. I'm on everything except MySpace. And I don't even know if they have MySpace still out or not. But you can always hit me up on any of those social media sites by simply just advanced searching and typing in Premier Leather Crafters. And Premier is spelled with no E on the end. So uh, you can always just type those into your advanced search engine box. I'm also, you can also Google me and it will take you directly so you can find me. I don't mind asking your questions. Actually, I welcome your questions because... Uh, it does me any good just to sit on the knowledge and the things that I've learned from over the years. Uh, both the old, if you have even old school questions about how the old school crafters used to do it back in the day. And it's a lot of techniques that a lot of old school crafters are still using today. And it's, I mean, it can completely sets their work apart from the new genre of crafters now because they they kept those secrets i was just fortunate and blessed enough to learn from two uh my my, my uncle and my father who was doing this crafting work back in the 60s and 70s so i have a lot of knowledge that they have left and passed on to me uh uh maybe one of these days i'll get off into the beeswax man which is making your own wax thread and all of that stuff. We're going to cover all of that stuff. The more you guys continue to watch, just like I said, hit the subscription button below. And every time that I post a video, it'll send you an email. Or if you have any questions, because uh, I'll take your questions and do a video because rest assured, you are not the only crafter that's going through uh, that particular uh, situation at the time. So, hey, Hit me up, inbox me, direct message me. You know, it goes down in the DM. This is Robert, the Leather Cowboy Muhammad. We're premier leather crafters. You know, hope this helped you guys. Peace.